G'day everyone, Jason Haynes here once again. QPL Rural with another edition of the Soaker, your weekly look at water markets across the Riverina. So new round of allocations this week. Some very good news, especially if you're in zones 10 and 11. We've now got a 16% increase, bringing you up to 26% of general security allocation in those markets. If you're in the Murrumbidgee in zone 13, unfortunately still sitting on a conservative 50% of allocation, but the way that river's flowing, hopefully it won't be long and we'll see a new announcement with another increase. Well, there's a number of off-allocation events moving through the systems at the moment, and particularly those in Zone 10 are making good use of that. There's some pastures and some crops that weren't watered in that are now responding to water as we see wheels open right across that district. Naturally, in a number of places, it's still very wet, but anything that didn't get an autumn watering is responding very well to this off-allocation event. So a quick look at markets now. If you're in zone 10, quoted at $72 a megalitre, but we're probably around that $70. Zone 11, still quoted at 110. And zone 13 in the Murrumbidgee at $70 per megalitre as well. The last trade on the lock one I can see now, it was a few days ago, and it was still quoted $105 per megalitre upstream of Lake Cajelico Weir. With regard to groundwater at the moment, I haven't seen any quotes on our Lower Murrumbidgee or Lower Murray groundwater. Uh, you would have to think, though, at the moment, that is suppressed given what is happening in that surface water market. So uh, I'll keep you updated as numbers come to hand. To dam levels this week, well, the welcome news was down in that Hume Dam, now seeing at 85.1% of capacity, so a very good result there for that Murray system. If you're in Dartmouth and following that, we've broken now through that 70% mark, sitting at 70.3% of capacity. But other dams on the Murrumbidgee system, Blaring at 99.7% of capacity this morning and Burrenjuk at 94.3%. Obviously, there's a fair bit of work gone into making sure those don't spill at the moment if we get a major event. And in the Murrumbidgee system, there's been some very minor flooding at the moment, but still within the banks in most areas. Okay, now to our hot buyers and sellers, we have a quantity of delivery entitlements available in that Coley Embley system. A couple of thousand delivery entitlements there. If you're looking to acquire some of those at the moment, let me know. We need to get these moved in the next few weeks. Also, we've got a quantity of Lower Murray groundwater, Murrumbidgee groundwater, and Zone 10 general security entitlements as well, if you're looking to step into any of these entitlement markets. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on anything I've spoken about here today, please feel free to give me a call, 04 We'll catch up again next week. Cheers.